What's up guys, this is Abe for iOSiker. Today we are going to take a look at the new gestures that have been introduced in iPadOS 13. In this video, we will be focusing on the new gestures that have been introduced to make performing commonly used actions such as copy-paste, cursor movement and text selection more convenient. As you are going to see in this video, it is apparent that there is a learning curve when you start using these gestures. However, once you get used to them, they can make a positive difference in your typing and text editing workflows. Let's start with how you can move the typing cursor around the body of text. Moving the cursor is very simple. You just have to tap and hold on the cursor and then move your finger to wherever you want to place it. If you happen to make a mistake, you can simply grab the cursor to the place you want to make the edit. You can select a single word which is helpful for correcting the spelling or copying it by double tapping on the word with one finger. You can quickly expand on the one finger gesture to select a line or paragraph of text by dragging your finger over the text. Let's do that one more time. This new gesture makes it a lot easier to select multiple lines of text. Now that you know how to make text selections, let's take a look at copy and paste. You can quickly copy the selected text to your device's clipboard by performing a three finger gesture on the screen. Then once you're ready to paste, you can quickly do so by performing a pinch out gesture. Let's do that one more time. Double tap on a word to select, then drag your finger across the text to make a selection, then pinch in with three fingers to copy and pinch out to paste. iPadOS 13 brings a new undo and redo gestures to iPad. So if you have made a mistake, you can instantly undo it by swiping left on the screen with three fingers. You can redo the action by swiping right on the screen. Lastly, iPadOS 13 introduces a new text editing menu that gives you quick access to undo, redo, cut, copy and paste actions. You can access this new menu by tapping on the screen with three fingers. This new menu lets you perform these tasks more quickly. So guys, this was our look at the new text editing gestures that have been introduced in iPadOS 13. What do you think about these gestures? Do you think you can get used to them? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more iPadOS 13 videos. We will see you in our next one.